has 10 damage. Anything else I can repair? There we go. Tail irons. There we go. Awesome. What is over here? Nuclear cola vending machine and a door. That leads upstairs. I'm not quite sure if I want to go up there just yet because there's still more ground cover down here. Need a lock pick of 25 to pick that lock. Wow. Holy crap, there is a cavalry in here. There's a lot of them. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, crap, you're still good. Hey, you missed. Oh, I'm almost to a level up. Awesome. Holy crap, this guy's wearing like a... Some kind of mask. Yeah, it is like a mask. You like that? This guy's like sitting here now. Is he glitched? Who are you? Oh crap! A convict leader. Come on. Wait, he's you a like convict that? leader. Well, he's dead now. I shot him in the head, and he still did not die. He didn't even take any damage from that. Look at this, all this stuff. And I got a level up. Booyah. Now I got more stuff to add. Alright, let's get barter up to 25. Guns can stay there. 20 lock picking? Or repair. Yeah, let's get 20 lock picking. I already looted him. Let's go loot this guy's who he had. Flamer fuel. Hockey mask. Incinerator. Ooh, this thing's kinda heavy. But I'll take it. Now let's go. All this really is right now is just uh killing and then repairing. Getting trying to get all my stuff to maximum efficiency. I'm trying for right now anyways. Alright, we're good. Anything else in here that might want to kill me? Alright, well, I guess the uh, deputy can wait a minute. So I can go do that. Look at that. Alright, awesome. Pack of cigarettes, psycho. I'm not going to be a big fan of creating ammunition. So I'm probably not going to be doing too much of that. But I guess I'll take the cases and all that anyways. Just in case. Oh, okay, here he is. I don't suppose you came here to rescue me. I'd cross my fingers, but yeah, you my must hands be Deputy Beagle. Well, Why, yes, I am. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm in a bit of a predicament here. I'd be most appreciative if you'd set me free. Indeed, I do, good sir. And I would be thrilled to share that information with you as soon as I am released from captivity. Uh, I don't have an honest speech for it. Oh, that's just marvelous. I think I'll be making my way outside now. The air is a little close in here. All right. Oh, why, uh, of course. I'd never let you fight my kidnappers with my help <sighs> without it. Yeah, you this guy's some deputy. All right, you're coming with me. Once we get outside, oh, no, can I just ask you right now? I do hope can this ordeal you, right? won't be over soon. I just hope I'm I not won't giving have you a weapon. It. Screw that. You can. I'm probably gonna. Once you got size, it's probably gonna just ditch me anyways. Come on. He's just sitting there. I need you to give me my information. That means you need to follow me. I do hope this ordeal will. That's right. Let's get going. Will. Let's go. Follow me. There you go. Follow me. Once we get out there, you're telling me everything I need to know. Or else I will take this gun and I won't hesitate to shoot it right at you. And no one will, and I'll just and I'll blame it on these bandits and I'll say, oh sorry, apparently they killed you. I didn't make it to you in time. And then they'll believe that. Cause these people in this game aren't quite the best when it comes to smarts. So when we get out there, you better tell me. Come on. Alright, nope, nope, don't run away. 
Well, that was quite an adventure. We taught those Correction, I taught them. Two, didn't we? Breaking myself out of a hostage situation. Not to diminish your role in it, of You course, breaking yourself out of a hostage thrilling. situation. Problem is, there's still no law in Prem. What are we to do the next time ruffians menace us and hold us hostage? I don't care about any of that. I just want... Ah, yes. My memory is much clearer now that I'm free from my bondage. I was uh, performing recon, gathering information on some of the powder gangers, when some great cons arrived with your friend in the suit. They were talking about some delivery they took from a courier. I assume that was you? They said they'd be heading through Nipton to Novak to meet awesome. a contact there. Hold on. Hello again. I don't suppose you've decided yeah, to help Prim you. find its next sheriff? Oh, no. I'm just a deputy, and I can't be a deputy without a sheriff. It's called chain of command. All right, I'll help you. You will? That's just marvelous. I'll start thinking up questions for the interview. The sheriff that was incarcerated up at NCRCF may be a good choice. You also may be able to convince that NCR guy across the road to take the town under his wing. Although martial law doesn't sound so fun. Awesome. Help Beagle find a new sheriff. Alright. I guess we can do that right now. I guess we can go do that. Where do we need to go? My kind of town. You gotta go to there. I guess we can fast travel here. Oh crap, this better not be infested with powder gangers. Because honestly, I did not want to kill more of them because I'm already vilified, which means you know, the machines are all going to come and kill me. Oh well. That's prim. Crap, where do I need to go? This way? Yeah, this way. Alright, I guess we'll pull in my gun for now, because I have nothing, I have no use to shooting anything, unless I'm shooting the air. And that's honestly just a waste of ammunition, and in this game, it's all about conserving ammunition. Because you never know when you're going to run out. And then, if, if you're in the middle of a combat situation, you probably take a while before you can actually fast travel and buy more ammunition. Which is why it's a good idea to conserve ammo in this game. Especially when you're playing on hardcore mode, because in hardcore mode, ammunition weighs, so you can't stockpile on ammunition. Because eventually you're going to be over encumbered, and won't be able to go anywhere, and now people are shooting at me. Which means i got to kick some ass. Like so. And now this guy's freaking head is crippled, and I think he might be blind. This guy is wearing no armor whatsoever. Did I, Did I miss at point blank range? What's this guy using? It's like a cane. Holy crap, this guy I can't even hit. Come on, quit moving. Alright, do it. I don't know, I'm gonna try something. Let's see how uh, good this uh, tile iron, tail iron is, or tire iron. Let's see how good this thing is. I'm trying to see which, how good the melee weapon is. It's not really that good at all. Oh, no, it's actually, actually kind of good. I don't know what he had. I only had a police baton. This thing's all rusty, man. I don't know if I don't kill the guy, the rust. If I get rust in the guy, I sure will. That would probably kill him. All right. What does this guy have? Nine millimeter pistol. Awesome. Guess we got to go this way, right? Yep. This way. All right. Up the mountain we go. Alright, here we are, the Powder Ganger, or NCR Camp, which apparently has the Powder Gangers in it. Hmm. Here's a fence. NCR Correctional Facility. Holy f fr oh my god. Can I hit this guy from up here? Probably not. Oh, I actually got him. Hello there. It's good to see a friendly face. I almost took you for a raider, I did. Uh, can't Name's you see in the middle of something? Malcolm Holmes. Don't suppose you'd care to trade. I'm missing a few essentials and... Ah, oh, screw this. 
Lying just ain't in my nature. I'll tell it to you straight. <coughs> Stalker. I've been following you for a good bit now. It started off innocently enough. I was traveling, as I often do, and happened to observe you picking up one of those blue star caps. You didn't show any reaction to it, so I figured you didn't know what you'd gotten your hands on. There's an old wasteland legend that says somewhere out there is a fabulous treasure from before the war. Those caps with the blue star on them, the tale goes, are the key to that treasure. Hmm. They're called Sunset Sarsaparilla okay, Stars. All over the place. The easiest place to find them is unopened bottles of Sunset Sarsaparilla. You'd think they'd all have been picked clean by now, but somehow new bottles keep appearing in the machines. Some say it's old Festus that does it, hoping someone will finally collect enough caps to earn the treasure. Other than bottles, you'll just have to scavenge. You can find caps in the unlikeliest of places, and blue right. star caps are no exception. It's said that the treasure is guarded by a man named Festus, and he's the one who asked for the blue star caps. It's also said he's been around since the war, standing a lonely vigil, waiting for someone to come and take the treasure off his hands. That'll make him pretty damn old, but I've met a few people in my travels who claim they actually met him, and they weren't the lying type either. Nah, I gave it up years ago. Too dangerous. And even if I did still collect them, I'd tell you the same. There's people out there so mad with the idea of treasure that they'll attack strangers just on the suspicion that they have some of those caps. Yeah, thanks for the info. No problem. If you do end up trying to collect more stars, watch out for a man named Alan Marks. He's killed several people for their stars already. And if I kill him, I'll take all his stars. It'd be a never-ending cycle of... Hey, this guy actually has a name. This guy, it's better not be the guy I'm looking for. Awesome. Awesome, a key. I can get in now. Holy crap, another guy with those masks. Our in good game. There we go. This is a good fight for sure. Alright. Take all this crap that I probably can sell later on. And then into the visitor center we go. Hopefully, we can find the guy we're look looking for. Of course, I get I miss a headshot. Man, this gun is actually starting to suck. At least they instant kill these guys now, so not. Holy crap, there's a lot of powder gangers here. Yeah, there is a lot of powder gangers here. Come on, reload. Alright, let's kill this guy. Alright, boom. Come on. My guy is really starting to suck ass. Come on, headshot. you think, like, a headshot would instant kill a guy. But I guess not. Okay, he had a pistol and a armor rifle. Awesome. The guy had nothing. And a armor rifle in the sunset sarsaparilla. Maybe he'll have a bottle cap on it. Who knows? Actually, I 